Greetings and salutations to you all my fellow humans as always I hope you are very very well welcome to a new possibly series for the channel a little game by the name of Dead Cells some of you may be familiar with this game already it's been getting its way around the interweb lands quite a bit recently it is an early access title TBH just fresh on the early access shelves and look shows a lot of promise if you're unfamiliar with the game uh, it's either I think it's self-described or it has been described as a roguevania kind of game, as in roguelike and metroidvania. Now it's very roguelike in a lot of ways, you know, the action RPG kind of style, it's got a side-scrolling kind of thing going on, and maybe not so much RPG, but it's like an action chop em up kind of game with loot and items and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, semi-random dungeons that you repeat, of course the whole like semi-permadeath thing where you die once and you reset back to the start. Death is an expected part of such a game, as I'm sure those of you who like Roguelux are very familiar with. And it kind of combines those Metroidvania aspects in that the rinse and repeat kind of process of you can go back and adventure and access areas you couldn't before through unlocking certain things. And there's also what I love about this game and what has... what I haven't been so caught up in with previous Roguelikes is that it still feels like there's progression when you're playing this game. So you go do a 20 minute run or a half an hour run, you die. I'm just making sure my things are recording. You do a thing and you die and it's all sad and bad uh, and you gotta just start again from scratch. But in Dead Cells, what happens is you spend these cells, this currency to upgrade various plethora of gear and um, things that you have at your disposal, uh, which are available to you in subsequent, subsequent runs. So theoretically, each run you do should improve you just that little bit or every so often you should get new gear available to you uh, and we'll go through those when we run into them well, let's get into the game right now um you should run into them and you should see yourself getting better and better as you do more and more runs which is indeed the case tbh now this is a fresh save uh you can i have got a previous save rather look at me go jumping and main weapons and stuff so I do have uh, an off-camera save because I've been playing this fiendishly uh, off-camera. Blame Ricardo, the roleplay gamer, my good YouTube buddy, if you're familiar with my specific channel. Uh, look, he got me addicted to this game. Hard. So this is the semblance of a story where it's kind of explained that, you know, don't be surprised to find ourselves back here. You must have noticed you can no longer die. I still don't understand. It's like this with the others for a while. <laughs> and our guy's kind of just like WTF. So these are two starting options, beginner's bow, good old wooden shield. I tend to go for the shield, uh, at least these days. I wasn't a huge fan of the shield initially, uh, but now I'm getting into it. Now as you can see, uh, it's on my triangle button, and I can hold it there for only a certain amount of time and it disappears, which adds a timing to your block meta. But it's worth it, I think, because as you can see, I just stunned that dude and he got real wrecked. So I'm going to try my best to commentary over this while I'm playing. Look, it's not the easiest game to comment commentate over, I, I would think. But yeah, we'll do our best. Tuh, <laughs> rather. <laughs> cool. So there's a variety of enemies and we'll talk about them as we go along. Well, you saw some archers there, which are pretty standard meta. They shoot at like the second height block, I suppose. So you can duck in, under them fairly easily, like this. And then we've got the green guys, which are fairly standard fare as well. These are the red guys, I suppose. They throw orbs at you. They probably have real names. Ah, see, I got my timing real wrong on that block. That was terrible, actually. So it's telling me all the tutorial buttons, but I already know how to press these keys, because I'm skillful, mate. I know my way around this. There's a ground slam. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So ground slam, you know, just jump and then jump down. And that does nice damage and stun. So we found a carrot. Oh, we've got the blueprint for the blood sword. Awesome, one of my favorite weapons, actually. So that's kind of like this sword, but it does bleeding damage, and it's very saucy and nice. So those blueprints, uh, hopefully I'll get to demonstrate it, because I won't die. This is the very first level, and you look, I've got enough practice in this game where I should be able to get through here without too much of a hassle, but I haven't played this game while doing commentary before, so it's going to add a new dimension to it. That's, can I gank? Oh, there's a door in the way. Oh, but I just broke it. Can I? Yeah, I blocked his bl shield block thingy. Yeah, skill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, how am I going to tackle this, though? This is interesting. Oh, God, I completely asked that. Well, we can get this guy, gank him real good. Nice. Nice. Block that fool. And we're, oh, mate, look at this. So we got flashbang. So L2 and R2, as you can see down below me, bottom, bottom left. These are active skills. So you throw that, and there's a whole variety of them. 
And we've got a blueprint for a force shield as well. So awesome. We can see those. We're able to uh, invest ourselves into those in a little, a little bit of time. So plus one strength. I'm going to grab this. You see these scattered throughout your maps. So now you can see there's a little two above our sword and shield, meaning our melee, our weapon damage is increased. You can also up your health. Um, your skill cooldown and power can also be upgraded. And here's a chest, as you might be able to expect in such a game. Ooh, twin daggers. So I'm actually fairly okay with having these. They're not my uh, absolute favorite melee weapon, because I'll demonstrate. They tend to be a bit slow. They feel kind of slow to attack with. Uh, but they do do pretty, they do do <laughs> pretty gnarly damage, TBH. Ah, uh, here we go. So here's a generic uh, upgrade scroll of power, where we actually get to choose where we want to spend it. I generally try to put one in health pretty early on. That tends to be a nice way to go. And we've got this. So for a thousand gold, we can get that thing behind there. I, that's actually an ice blast or frost blast or something. I don't know, whatever it is. I'm not a huge fan of it. I've never really used it in my, oh, that was lucky. Oh no, no, I'm gonna dodge into the thing. Stupid. So watch this. This should do a lot saucier amounts of damage. So circle to roll, as you can see, and you can kind of do a bit of a slide through as well. Oh god, I saw that coming. I didn't react quick enough. Boom. So yeah, look, roguelikes. Am I right? They're really. They haven't really been my thing up to date, which is kind of surprising because they kind of. I have a little bit of a crossover when it comes to action RPGs, and a lot of you here will know me as a Grim Dawn guy. So. Uh, yeah, they've never really grabbed me in the past, but look, lo and behold, here we are. So here's an item shop. <laughs> There's so many things to cover. There's a lot of meta in this game, actually. So things we can buy. Moonstone Amulet reduces damage taken by 10%. Bear Trap being an active skill, we can get different shields. Or the Electric Whip, which is not a bad weapon. I think given these options, I'm going to get this. And that replaces the far bottom left. What am I doing? Um, instead of the prisoner's collar, I get that, and we're all good and dandy. Now, all these items we're finding will, will disappear. When we die, they will no longer be available to us. Boom. Nice. Yeah, they'll, you know, our next run, we won't have them immediately available. We go back to starter gear. But then, of course, you pick them up uh, as you go through your level once again. So, I'm trying to go back upstairs. I've got no teleport. Wait, there was a teleport in here. You stupid. <laughs> There's teleporters scattered around all your maps as well, so I can actually jump straight up there. Throwing knives? There was throwing knives, TBH? Oh, right here. I didn't even notice that. <sighs> I've sometimes gone with these, but I'm because I'm fond of the shield, for a time I was going um, on my off-camera account, I was going melee with a ranged attack. So I can tickle this, by the way. Look, this is some sort of fungus. In the end, you can actually grow vines out of those. But we don't have that item just yet. And these are teleporty thingies that you can tickle all as well. And they don't they also don't do anything. So that means we can't get here this time. But later on, once we get that available to us, we will most certainly be able to do that. That's gonna be good. Alright. So, since we have none of this access, we will scoot down and go through to the next area. Promenade of the Condemned. Yeah. So, by the way, let me know what you think of the face cam. I was I was very undecided about whether I wanted to do a face cam for this or not. Uh, it's kind of a busy game, but it has a lot of downtime as well. Like when you're just walking around doing not much. You again. Interesting. I'm the collector and I'm about the closest thing to company you will get down here. In exchange for cells, you can pillage from your foes. That you pillage from your foes I can provide. You get the idea. So look, he's the, he's our blueprint man. So as you can see, the blueprints we found have hopped into the thing. They are locked for now because we haven't done other things. This is actually a very good thing to get. Health potion. Healing potion one. You now earn a health fast. So that means we can heal once per run. Uh, notwithstanding that we make it to the next checkpoint. Which is basically what the, these um, this cells vendor guy is. Uh, so as you can see, if we flick through, um, that's your general tab of everything, but then here's your health and upgrade sorts of things. Actually, I might want to... I'm going to go into gold recovery pretty early on. That's really, really handy. 25% of your gold is conserved, which means you can buy better stuff on at the start of subsequent runs. Also, getting this when we get the chance, random starter shield. So you saw the random sword and shield at the start. Um, you can uh, make it so you get a better random starting shield. And of the other things that you unlock. Um, why can't I get that? Unlock one more item. Oh, okay, cool. Um, maybe I'll get Bloodsword. I'm, I'm funny about investing into particular weapons because you don't always find them. <laughs> you don't always find them. So, yeah. Wait, have I even spent all my cells? Yeah, I have. Okay. 
So on we go. Now, Ricardo, my good buddy, was talking about door meta. Because you can either open them with R1 or you can break them. So if you open and close them, they work as cover. But if you it, you have to open them if you're um, trying to escape from a thing. So it's this interesting quandary. And it's part of the, the balance of the game, I think. The developers have been pretty clever at TBH. It's really saucy. It's really nice. Hoo -hoo. Sorry that there's so much to talk about in this first episode. After this, you know, covering it for anyone who hasn't seen this game before, we'll just... I'm hoping you guys like watching it, because I'm really happy to just do uh, subsequent runs. I could do this. You know, a lot of a lot of YouTubers these days cover stuff like... Um, <sighs> Binding of Isaac is, of course, one of the main ones that uh, has been done for the longest time. I'm trying to think of other ones. Nuclear Throne, I saw getting some coverage, you know, on like a daily kind of basis. A lot of these games get that kind of cover. Uh, but this one actually works for me, so I'd be, I'd be happy to do this on a fairly regular basis. TBH IMO. Just letting you know. Alright, so this this map always has some saucy kind of uh, platforming going on. I nearly asked that up entirely. We got through it in the end. That's cool. It's cool. So, a couple teleporters unlocked. Let's go and have a look down here first, shall we? I knew that was going to happen too. You saw me react. <laughs> Dang it, Meg. So, we can't get to the old sewers this time around. Wait, did I just miss? I think I just missed a place to drop down, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. Enchanté, mademoiselle. I will take this. Green shield, so that knocks gold out of our enemies. And we'll have some other random upgrades too. Uh, let's actually have a read. 20% uh, damage. Attacking immediately after parrying inflicts 300% damage. That's actually very nice. I dig it, bro. Alright, so... Oh, we've got a teleporter out of here. So we can do it safely. Which is always a good sign. So... Yeah, I didn't go down here. What a stupid... Oh, that's why, because vines. We haven't got that unlocked just yet. Classic. All right, let's scoot all the way forward. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, did I did I finish my thing about face cam? I honestly don't remember. Oh, we've got a health thing. Let's go a strength thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. So he didn't even get out of the stun, and we can upgrade our skills too. Uh. uh. Oh dang! Oh Jesus, he moved real fast. I think we, we actually managed to kill him without getting an attack. So they are just known for... Oh, God. So there's an elite right there. Now, look. All enemies are optional, really. If you if you think about it long and hard, you don't actually have to necessarily kill everyone. So... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really focused right now. Because this guy's going to be an asshole. TBH. Why am I not blocking? There we go. Okay. We actually didn't lose too much health, so that was actually not bad. Twin daggers four instead of our twin daggers two. So, look, we lost half, nearly half our health, but that's a decent upgrade. Hopefully, it's going to be enough to hold us steadfast. Uh, anyway, it's because this is a pretty action-packed game. I keep getting distracted and going different segues and shiz with my discussioni. Oh, these throw bombs as well. Is that right? Uh, so sometimes you get these, 100% chance on a burning, burning target and throws a grenade, 66 damage. So some of your decent high level weapons come with these kind of added extra bonuses that'll throw a bomb or a dagger or, you know, all that kind of jazz. It's really cool. And these are, this is a timed door. This door was sealed 4 minutes 31 seconds ago. I haven't actually tried to do a kind of speed run where I try to rush these doors. Apparently there's good stuff behind them, but look, I'm yet to experience it. TBH. Okay, cool. Go through that unscathed. Can't grow this. It's fine. So we gotta go. Is this a boss room? I suspect it might be. I suspect it might be. But yeah, finally, last thing. Again, face cam. Let me know if you like it or not. I thought it might get a bit distracting given the busyness of this game. Uh, but I thought maybe there'd be some funny reactions and what have you if I got really screwed over at certain points. Do I wanna heal now? No. So this is like the first mini boss you come across. I think I'm just gonna try gank him right out of the gate. Yep. Uh, can I roll under those? I don't think so. But I can totally block them. So, so getting your block timing right is very saucy. Come on, we can just... Come on! Oh, I've got a heal in. Whew. Yes! Whoa! I'm so stoked we did that first shot. Holy moly. It took me a few goes on my um, my inaugural playthrough uh, with my offline account. Oh, man. Whew. 
So now you can see we're picking up this vine rune, which we this we will have permanently. So this is the kind of Metroid aspect to it, I guess. Look, I'm gonna be TBH. I haven't really played Metroid before, uh, or Metroidvania style games. But from what I'm se what I've seen of them, and as you can see, now we've got this uh, vine that we can climb and get out of this stupid dank room. Yes, yes. Uh, but now we can go back on our tracks and we can go and shaboom, look at this dank axis that we have. I could go all the way back to that other room, but... TBH, CBF. Nearly got ganked by that bird. See, these all you have to do is block them and they will die, but they move so quick, so the block can be a little hard to time. Another new mechanic! Oh wait, there's a secret in this wall, you see that little glowing room? That gives us saucy goodness. So you can see they've got that weird circular meta going on around them. That is like a shield that basically makes them impervious to damage while it's up. So you've got to go find the source, which is always these weird, creepy looking scarecrow fellas. Destroy that, of course, and then everything is fine. Get that block going, nice, nice. I think I've got, what, three or four hours in this game so far? It's about four hours, I think. I, I binged on it last night, basically. In, in IRL time, I binged hard on this game. <laughs> um, because I just couldn't stop playing. And I actually had to work today. And I was a very tired man. So, there, you know, there's that. <laughs> 1200 for that whip. I'm not very interested. Let's move on. Keep our gold. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go up by the look of it. Would be the better maneuver. Um, so yeah, I'm not super pro with this game, but I am starting to like get a feel for the rhythm of how like blocking, t block timing works, and how certain enemies work. Kind of. Some enemies are still assholes, man. Like these guys are pretty pedestrian. You get real used to all these green and white dudes and the red dudes all pretty early on, but there's some real dank assholes you run into later, like bad. All right, very good. Did I miss anything over this side? Just a couple guys. I'm a bit of a farmer when it comes to this game. Um, I tend to try and be kind of thorough in scouring everything, um, which t lends itself to me having a fair amount of souls when I get to the end. Um, but it's kind of a risk reward because it's quite, quite easy to end up in a scenario where, um, oops, didn't mean to do that. I just wrecked myself with the elevator. Jeez, we're, we're, look, we're getting close to death. Uh, yeah, it lends itself to getting a decent amount of souls collected, which is real nice. Oh, jeez. Uh, but you can also tragically lose them all when you die. 16 cells lost. So I've lost like up to 30 cells sometimes, and it's really freaking annoying. But say that me. These are how these games go. 17 minutes. Jeez, we could fit another run in. Maybe. That was a pretty ordinary run, though. <laughs> now, this guy just taunts you. Mm -mm. You give him a bit of that. So yeah, it's a bit different each time. Look, it's fine. This is the first episode. Let's just do one more. We can, we can do one more. So look, these are still dank and boring, but soon we'll have... I go for the shield first, I think. I'm kind of happy and interested to be doing a, a fresh run because I may, I'm thinking about how I want to invest my souls this time around. Cells? I'm doing the same thing as Ricardo. He calls them souls because this... Clearly kind of takes a Dark Souls kind of flavor where you kill enemies and get their souls and then you spend them, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's kind of got that air. Whoa! Dang, it's a thousand gold, bro. Look, see, now we're already up to 1,620 gold. Whew. Now imagine you have three, four thousand gold when you die and you get some of that back and you run into a vendor. And sometimes the vendors do 50% off sales, so you can get some really hot, sexy upgrades right out of the gate. Look, Twin Daggers. I kind of like the bear trap though, or the ice amulet. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. I'll see if I can grind up to 2k gold. There's a nice shield in there too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Listen. This is the sauciness in this game, TBH. That was actually really friggin'. Just couldn't do it, bro. Just couldn't make it work. Get wrecked, gold. <laughs> uh, plus the health. So these guys are pretty easy to gank. Nice and... Ah, look, I probably didn't time that the best, in all honesty. 
there's a bit of strategy to this game, and I find that sometimes slow playing can work better. And look, see, in this case, I can I can flank this guy from the back instead of letting him deal with the shield meta. Oh, yeah. Okay, look. They're only twin daggers one, but they'll do the job. Oh, look at this. Dude, we're getting kind of lucky. Dang, bro. Ah! Whew. Listen. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, yeah, it's very lucky. Now we're at 2.7k gold. I am not mad, bro. All right, look, there's a door, okay? Just... No. Still got him. It's fine. Could have just ganked him through the door. I don't know why I opened it all politely. <laughs> oh, gosh. Another thing for feedback, I've tried to get the audio volumes balanced as best I could. I particularly made sure to keep all the... Um, main sound effects at a fairly low level because they can get irritating over time not for me, for me as the player but i'm sure they would irritate you with my commentary all at once yes let me eat the carrot so that's just some food for thought i've kept the music actually kind of high in the mix because i think the the um the soundtrack is freaking fantastic imo i really really like it so look that has to be part of the meta get wrecked idiots how good was that timing, though? I'm guessing this is probably taking us to the promenade? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, but we're not done here, bro. 3k gold, though. Look, fight me. It's fine. Uh, we've, got, we've still got stuff to go in here. Look, we've got stuff over down there. Look at this idiot, though. We'll probably even attempt that challenge. I did ignore it. Initially, did you see that rune in the floor? Get me through there. What? He didn't come at me, bro. Another carrot? Man. Carrots are getting thrown at us. Where was it? Here? Yeah. So I can activate this rune in the floor. And it opens a challenge area. The only one I've seen so far... Again, this might be because it's early access and they haven't implemented more. Yeah, kill all the enemies and make it out without getting hit. In a, in a timed thing. Well, it's gonna be tricky. I haven't actually succeeded at one yet. They said actually be oh, <laughs> that would be a lot easier with some items. Particularly, um, particularly there's horizontal turrets. Look, they're dank. They they distract and they do damage. They are nice. Am I in a different place now? Or did the map just reset? Classic. That's the whip. Yeah, look, we can't we can't see nothing. We got to walk. Not sure if that's intentional or not. Look, we can deal with it though. It's fine. I know where we're going. Like I said, I tend to be a more... Wait, don't. Look. Are you going to be that guy? Come on. Okay, good. We can reach. Whew. Look, I had, I had a heart attack for a moment there. Just for a hot second. we got to get our ass back to the shops. Was it here? Yes. Yes. What level of dagger are you? Twin daggers too. Probably not worth it. I want to get the ice amulet. Look, it makes you a tank, bro. Look, we can save that gold as well, so it's fine. Alright, so we can kind of teleport a decent ways back. <laughs> Not the whole way, because we seem to have lost some of our unlocks when we went for that challenge area. Yeah, I don't know if that's intentional or not. It feels a bit strange to me, but it's fine. Not a huge dealio. Not a huge dealio. I think we've covered most of the, like, the mainstream... Mainstream? The majority of like the important mechanics. Um... It's just a really good feeling game. Oh, I, I'm supposed to say this. I didn't say it at the start. It's fine. I did get this game at no cost. Um, the development team, well, not directly. Um, through my network of contacts, I was able to get a, or like a review code for this game. Uh, rest assured, I wouldn't be covering it if I didn't think it was very good. Um, the fact that I'm enjoying it... I, whoops, I meant to do that. The fact that I'm enjoying it so much is why I'm covering it on the channel. Uh, if I wasn't into it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have brought this up, so... Bear that in mind. It's a very fantastic game. Alright, we want to actually get the Blood Sword into the rotation. It's not in there yet. Very good. And then we'll dump our remaining points into this. There we go. We got a Blood Sword. So Blood Sword at rank 2, in fact. It causes bleeding damage over time. I'm kind of fond of the Twin Daggers, just kind of thematically, I guess you would say. I just like the idea of dual wielding in most games. Um, but yeah, they're slightly slow attacks, but they're kind of... Kind of maybe second, third favorite melee weapon for me. I kind of like the whip too, because it's got really long range. It's kind of, it's kind of almost exploitative in its in the di in its distance that you can attack from. Um, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna exploit it. Make no mistake, but <laughs> I'm just saying it feels kind of that way. 
I'm sure as you get later down into the game, it feels less like that. How am I supposed to do that, though? That's real dank. Can I go like this? Yes. Oh, oh and then I overjumped it. That was real dumb. It's better be worth it. I need a drink. Mm. Oh, Frost Blast, that's what it's called. So that goes in a weapon slot. I'm not a huge fan of it. I've tried it. It's kind of weird and slow. At least for my taste. I'm sure people have clocked this game with it. <laughs> it's not... It's, it doesn't... It doesn't tickle my jammy. And yes, invented sayings are definitely a thing on this channel nowadays. No one says tickle my jammy except me, as far as I'm aware. And I don't even think it means anything, but... Say la vie. It's... It's... It's RL. I am O. TB Honest. Get wrecked. Wait, well, I'm trying to block. What am I pressing? What buttons am I using in this video game? Nice. I haven't got any items yet, any active skills. Like right now, something like a turret or a grenade would be quite nice. Let's gank this fool first. And just, like throwing daggers or bows are really nice for these guys because you can just peg them uh, without having to aim. There's some like aim assist that goes on. Really makes life much easier than trying to swear these guys from midair, but that's how it goes. All right, shaboom! Ow! Those guys kind of have a quicker attack. And see how they've got different rhythms? Oh, yes! We need to invest in that Asaparone. Hopefully we can actually get to the next point where we can spend our cells. Oh, yes! Perfect! Oh, that's so lucky. Yes, the carriage is one of my favorite items! <laughs> Look, no, I don't, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm, tempt I'm always tempted just seeing the twin daggers, but... No, we got a blood sword. And you get, there's so many more swords like hidden behind blueprints that you have to unlock and all that kind of stuff. It's going to get real saucy. I haven't even got that fight with my uh, alt account yet. Oh, get blocked. Yes. Ooh, another one. Oh, Knife Storm. That's not bad. That does decent damage. It's good AoE, but I haven't managed to really unlock its true potential. I haven't used it much, actually, to be honest. I'm still at that point of the game where I'm trying to find my favorite meta. So far, I've stuck a lot with the sword, old, good old sword and board. But figuring out which... Did that guy hit me? <sighs> Classic. Figuring out which sword I like the best. And this is the thing. I'm, I could go and crank in a bunch of points into... Um, into something like the blood sword. And then find some sword I like better. And then I'll spend a bunch of cells uh, in blood sword instead of something else. But... I guess it's a roguelike, infinite runs, you could easily grind up for your, um, for more cells. It's not a huge, huge deal, but it's just worth pointing out. I, you know, I'm coming from a more tr traditional action RPG background, so... I'm kind of used to the notion of, um, careful where you spend your points because you don't get them back, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's just meta that I'm more used to. Look, this is actually a very annoying room right now. Because this guy's getting these guys are getting buffed from there, and the the um, what's this thing called? This shield seems to be activated based on your radius, you the player's radius to the um, to the thing, not the enemy's radius. So that's an interesting thing. You can kind of uh, game that a little bit if you know what you're doing. You can place yourself real saucy like, and uh, get away with some. You just kind of. Sneakily take them out from a distance before they get the benefits of the buff. Uh, we should be able to just drop down to there, and then we can go there. Use this safely this time. We can teleport back out. Ah, oh, we got a vendor, a kind of a vendor. Throwing knives. Nah. You may only equip... So it's the same as what we've got. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. I'm, I've, I've become quite a fiend for the uh, shield. I used to go daggers and swords, but and maybe I'll swap back. I don't know, but for now, shields are working for me to a decent respect. If I had something like a turret or a grenade as well, that's where I tend to get my range from, at least in my current sort of preferred configuration. Like, if I have a turret to just pop down instead, I'll do that, rather than um, you know, rely on daggers or a bow. There are some nice bows you can get. Oh, and there's actually a sneaky secret at the start of the game, which I don't know if I want to spoil for you, where you can find... Um, where you can find uh, an extra blueprint. And it's, it gets you the quick bow, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice thing. Oh, I balked that hard. Alright, very good. 
Dude, this is gonna end up being a long video. I knew uh, if we did a second run, we were gonna go longer. <laughs> but hey, look, it's gonna be fun. Where's our access point? I guess we can get in here. Oh, that's super annoying. Now we've aggroed this guy. I guess we can get him away from there though. Yep. Now the blueprint, meat grinder, which is kind of a stationary trap you can place on the floor and it just shreds things that walk over it. I'm gonna go for a dodge there actually. Ah. When they, when they attack at different rhythms, it can get real annoying. Real annoying! I'm actually having a lot of fun though. Look, this game, it was like 1 o'clock one o'clock in the morning when I got real pissed at this game. Because <laughs> I kept dying at a certain point. Uh, but I'm fine. I'm fine, RN. My voice is getting a bit raspy, but that's because I've been a little under the weather. But you can, you can, look, you can deal with that. Just fine. Yeah, get wrecked. Ooh, that was kind of close though. Haha. <laughs> Idiot. Yes, and now we got to finally got a shield upgrade. Wait, no, we've already got one. Green, gr uh, green shield one to a sturdy shield two does more damage, blocks attacks, and stuns the attacker. Fires an arrow in front of you. Look, I'll take it. Wait, I replaced the wrong thing though. Uh, R one. Uh, swap. Replace that. There we go. That's that's my that's what I want to do. Yes. Now look, well, I'll try and probably didn't see the arrow. I can probably demonstrate it this way. Yeah, there it goes. You see that? So we got a fresher blood sword. No, they're exactly the same. Whoops. No, I didn't do anything. Wait, are they the same though? Uh, you've looted blood sword too. That does twice the damage. Causes uh, bleeding. Oh, de damage dealt times two. Damage received times two. Look, I'm not. That's a gamble. I'm not willing to take. <laughs> that's a look. That's that's too. In a game where I feel so squishy, look. Keep it away from me. Keep it away. Keep it away now. Oh, what am I doing? I meant to press R1. But we've still got our potion, and we should be near the end of this whatever. Probably. Look, I'm just going to do it preemptively. I don't think we should be running into a boss, so that should be a fine thing to do. Ah! Excuse me? Oh my gosh, why did I do this? I'm getting ganked. Did I want? Did I get hurt? That's chump. That is heaps chump. All right, get wrecked. Old sewers. Okay, this will be fun. <laughs> Thirty-two minutes. What is this? God dang it, bro. So we get. We still get one of these dudes. Yes. Look at all our new shiny things. Look. Just give this to me. This is a priority. Boom. We got it. Uh, that's also really good as well to get healing potion too. But I'm gonna dump my rest of the points, my rest, the rest of my cells in there. Haha. -ha. Now I'm just gonna be a pedantic guy here for just a second. Swap turret onto my left hand side. We got a turret four. Whew, that's pretty cool, man. 50% damage on a poison target. En uh, enemies hit explode upon death. Freeze effect for 1.2 seconds. Look, I'm not mad. That's pretty nice. Very good. Look, this place is evil. I have not had good luck in the sewers at any point in time. We might try and do a bit of a speedy run and, and just die. <laughs> because this video is going sorry over time for what I expected. Uh, but look, we'll see how we go. I will probably just die anyway, because this place is filled with some pretty gnarly stuff. Looks real gross and dank. It's kind of got this weird, yucky yellow color to it. Look, insta demonstration. Alright, here, here goes a turret though. See how gnarly they are? See those jerk mushrooms? You see what they do? They kind of do like a buffy thing on the floor. You see it charging up and then spikes are up from it and it hurts. Dude, it hurts. Oh, I nearly balked that. Got some turrets. How good's a turret though, bro? <laughs> it, it has a real tendency to distract enemies, which I'm very pleased about. I'm very pleased about this. Get wrecked. Bleed everywhere, you stupid idiot. See, there's another mushroom around. They can cause some real trouble. Some real dank trouble. But see, Tower just chills and takes it out for me. And now we can help with killing them. So they got an explode on death effect, which is also not nice. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We are fine. Everything is great. 
So you've got to get real delicate with your stratagems. You should get deaded by the turret. Shield man should be distracted by said turret. We should be able to roll through. Gank him from the back. Mate, look at us go. Nothing in here. That's a weird room. I guess that's a little shelter room. A strategically placed room for the player's benefit, funnily enough. Um, can we duck? Yeah, we can duck that. Oh god, yeah, I had to retreat. Tactical retreat, TBH. Okay, we're through. God, these guys are assholes. Yes. Get so pew pewed, bro. Boom. Oh, I hate these brain things too, man. They can be real friggin' jerks. Aha! Uh -huh. Bear trap, though. Nice, that's a good skill. That enhances damage that you do to enemies while they're stuck in the trap, and of course they become immobile, so... I'm not mad, I like them. More gold. Oh, another secret here too, holy crap. Dude. That's heaps dank. We'll get some of that gold back next round too, so... Not all is lost, even though our inevitable death is... is coming to us any moment. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the boss room. Okay, look, perfect. Look, we may as well give it a go. If we beat the boss by some friggin' miracle... I'll probably call the episode anyway. Or I'll probably die real quick the next time around anyways. I don't know. Look, let's just do it. We're here and we get some good stuff and we kill him probably. Let's just see what happens. Why the hell not, right? Let's, let's do it before I get too invested in the amount of souls that we have. <laughs> uh, I think heal only gives us half our health back anyway, so... We're healed up now. If I'm wrong about that, that's pretty funny. So let's bear trap and turret. I'm just gonna keep spamming turret. See how hard he hits? I hate this guy. He's killed me really bad. <sighs> I haven't figured out a good strategy for him yet. I was I thought I could and this was my strategy coming in, because I've I've been to this boss before. Rolling through him um, would be a good way to go, but it seems his body is an impasse. You can't roll past him, so. Kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. So there we go. Dead Man's Curse. 1,058 gold recovered is not anything to sneer at by any stretch. So this is a strange place. It's going to be very pretty when it's done. And as you can see, these are all the... Look, can you stop talking? <laughs> so here's all the things we've unlocked so far in these weird, like, floaty glass jars of awesome. Yeah, there you go. So that's it, ladies and gents. We're going to call it here. I hope you enjoyed the first installment here of Dead Cells. I hope you did. So I'm very interested in doing some more episodes on this for a good amount of time. So I'll leave your thoughts and suggestions and comments down below. I hope to see you again for another episode. My name's Kluger. You have a great day.